All right, I just got my soft cover copy. It's only available in soft cover uh, of the Grindhouse Volume One. So I thought I'd do a quick little flip through here. The cover turned out pretty good, and the uh, the back covers well. Sorry, I'll try to make it to where you can actually see it. Looks really nice. Uh, it's thick enough to have a little bit of a spine. So uh, there's no text on the spine, but um, yeah, let's see here. Let's flip through. Go. Opening credits. Starts off, as do all of the books in the series, with a little bit of information on what Grindhouse is. Um, and a little section to talk about um, the purpose of the book and uh, how it's laid out. Describes each uh, kind of section as to as to what you'll find within you know in the layout of each scenario. Each of these books has two scenarios in them, with the exception of our Christmas special, which was only available for a short period of time, but might be back next year. Of course, we have a nice content warning page um, just to make sure everybody's keeping things safe and comfortable at their gaming table for everyone involved. And then we get into the first scenario, the Crimson King. Starts off as it was defined at the beginning of the book. Starts off with seven sections. We have the prelude, followed by objectives, secrets, cast, signs. So, signs would be like um, clues and things that the investigators might notice to tip them off that something's not right. Although, in fairness, some of these they're going to find out quickly enough anyway. And threats, which uh, defines the, um, the the adversaries within each scenario. Sorry, continuing on. It's hard to do this with one hand. Um, and then there's a section on changes, which just uh, kind of gives the keeper guidance as to how to keep things moving in order to make sure that the scenario kind of fits into a single session, um, etc. And then we get on, oh yeah, here's a kind of like the little handout section for the scenario. And then each scenario comes with pre-generated characters uh, that are ready to be dropped straight in. Uh, I believe we've made good efforts in most of these scenarios to, to keep the um, characters, they don't have names, they just have kind of like their name as their role, as it were, for most of them. Some may vary. Um, and for the most part, they are um, genderless, you know, or gender neutral, so that, uh, you know, players can put their own imprint, whatever they like, however they wish to play their characters. There will be some exceptions. For example, Volume 3 uh, has one uh, scenario in a men's prison and another scenario that takes place in a uh, sorority house. So those would have uh, gender-specific characters. But other, beyond that, for the most part, we try to keep it as open to the players, uh, sorry, I'm struggling here. And then we get into the second scenario, Isle of the Damned. The sections I skipped over <laughs> in the last one. So Prelude just kind of gives you the build up, all the information um, kind of leading into the scenario. Um, moving to, this is still Prelude stuff. So in the case of this one, the Prelude includes the uh, descriptions of the locations and stuff. Um, as the player characters encounter and engage with it. Um, two seconds. And then objectives, of course, pretty self-explanatory. It's just kind of like conditions of uh, potential victory, as it were. Secrets is basically like the uh, usually the kind of keeper knowledge section, so what's going on behind the scenes. Um, cast, then, is any important kind of NPCs that the characters may uh, meet. And you can see in this one, there's only one. Um, and then I already described the signs, threats, and so on. Um, I'll get to the handouts here for the, uh, the second and final scenario. One second. Those are our pre-gens. Because it's, uh, you know, we're, we're going for the grindhouse aesthetic and trying to keep these things uh, cheap to produce and sell, um, it's a little bit dark on the maps, but 
I think you can still make everything out okay. So, uh, yeah. And then, of course, there's pre-gen characters in the back of that one as well. And that's it. That is the Grindhouse Volume 1, the first of our Grindhouse series to make it to print. We have done um, three more volumes, but Volume 4 was a Christmas special, and like I said, is no longer available. We may bring it back out next uh, Christmas. So, hope you enjoyed this little video, and I hope I didn't stammer too much uh, and struggle too much with the camera. Thank you for checking it out. Oh, and uh, these are all available at uh, DriveThruRPG exclusively through the uh, Miskatonic Repository. <laughs>